Okay, so uh, we're down to showing you what the homework is about. Uh, ultimately, you're going to be creating paths around all of these objects, including the chef himself. And uh, we're going to start off with the blender. So I'm going to zoom down here to the bottom. In fact, I can do this. Okay, so let's get the pen tool. Since pen tool is all about creation of your first path. And um, I'm going to drop one here, drop one here. Now I tend to do a, a I, well, I always do two passes, at least two passes through the entire process. But I'm just going to drop some plain old angles going on here. And if they don't look quite right the first time through, that's okay. In fact, I'm going to drop one here. And you'll notice that I'm not getting too click happy because hopefully you've already seen the challenge video. And that explains that you really should try to keep as few anchor points going on as possible because it just gets to be too much of a nightmare and um, to maintain. And it's a nightmare because you can do so much more with less here. Okay, so we've got our basic setup here. I've got eight, actually nine, I think, anchor points. So that was our first pass. Second pass will be to edit. And I like to work with the direct select tool and the convert point tool. So these two guys right here. Okay. Now, I'm not going to be clicking on both these tools all the time. I'm going to stay with the direct select tool. I will be using the, com the uh, convert point tool, but I'll be using a keyboard shortcut to make it happen. So for instance, when I'm over here, and, I'm, and I can move this, oops, let's zoom into this space here for a second so we can really see what's happening. There we go. Okay. When I'm moving this one anchor point around, uh, the thing is, my cursor stays as the direct select tool. If I hold down on the Mac the command option key, when I get my cursor over that anchor, it turns into my convert point tool. So I can do the things that I need to do with convert point. But I just prefer to stay with the direct select tool as I'm working around. Uh, PC people, the keyboard shortcut for that is um, for the convert point tool would be control alt. Control alt would give you the same result. Okay. So I like this anchor point over here. I'm just going to work around uh, clockwise. I think I like this one right there. And let's zoom out a level or two. There we go. And I like this one also a little bit higher. By the way, uh, there's a little lip on the blender right here. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to do a basic shape around the top of this lid. Okay, I think I'm going to bring this a little bit closer. Just like that. Or yet closer. Okay, let's uh, break out some handles here. And this, both of these really need to have broken handles. So I'm going to hold down the command option for me and break these handles here. And pull it out that way. I'm going to break this handle here. And pull this out this way. Now this is way too big. Obviously I've got a lot too much here. What I could do, what I could do is click on the curve here and kind of dial that in, which is good. I'm pretty happy. Uh, let's again work around clockwise. So let's go down here. That's a little too close, but you get the idea. Okay, so what we're looking for here is a uh, basic shape. Now this handle was already broken like we did a minute ago, so uh, to actually move the handle now that it's broken I can use the convert point tool or my direct select tool. Okay, this one does not, <coughs> excuse me, this one does not have any uh, handles, so I'll get some handles going on there. And if you look at this, this is pretty close already. Now let's talk about this big curve on the right here. So again, this guy needs a set of handles. And I'll leave these out like this. And I can probably move the anchor point up, up a little bit towards the handle. Nice. And uh, break this handle here. Pull this out this way. I'll take this handle and pull that out this way. And generally speaking, I mean, it depends on the curve, obviously, but I tend to like to have the both ends of this curve. I like their handles to be somewhat close um, in length. And usually I'll start off big and wide like this and then kind of slowly label this down this way so they can uh, get closer to the shape. And then bring this down, move this angle around. And uh, I 
like that there, maybe a little bit tighter. I think I'm right on the edge now. And now it's just a matter of bringing this up and in just a little bit. And I am very happy with that. Cool. Let's focus on this section down here. I'm going to draw a box and let's zoom into this. Okay. So we've got to break this handle. So Command Option, again, Control Alt for the PC people, and straighten that out there. And f I think I'm going to round this one off a little bit. So I'm going to pull some handles out just a little bit. And uh, this one needs to move up just a slight bit. Round this off by pulling some handles out. Of course, that's going to change wh wh what happened to the last section there. So this is just a big editing process. I can drag this anchor point closer and pull these handles out. So I'm going to drag this up. And okay, kind of bend these around. This needs to be, again, closer to the object. There we go. I'll pull this in a little tighter. Uh, this is another section we're going to ignore because these buttons that are in the front of this kind of pop out outside of our curve. Uh, we're kind of going to ignore that. That would take a couple more anchor points, but for our purposes right now, not a big deal. I'm going to break this handle so that it starts to go around this outside shape a little bit. I'm going to still work on this section over here. This guy needs to break. And I'll pull this out a little bit more. And pull this in a little bit more. We get a little bit of an S-curve coming down here. Pull this out a little bit and then pull this in a little bit. Gives us a little bit more of an S-curve. I'm a little bit loose on this side, so I'm going to tighten this up just like so. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a space or two. Command minus, Command minus. And I've got to worry about this guy. Now, this guy is a really smooth curve, um, and I, I am not going to break the handles on this one. But look at that. Just by pulling that one out this way, we've actually done quite a bit of good. Um, Boy, I'm totally digging that. Now this anchor point up here, we really haven't done much to it, but it looks pretty good as it is. Let's test this out. Now I, I did this in class um, just so we can see where my curves are. So I'm going to click on, I'm actually going to click off my work path and click it again so that it's, it's visible, but it's not got the anchor points vis visible. Let's go back to the layers menu for a minute. I'm going to add a layer on top of this and fill it with white. There we go. Use white. Click OK. Now you can see my shape. And I am very, very happy with this.